Welcome back, everyone. Still a good chance of rain in our weekend weather forecast. Here are the weather headlines. Rain and thunderstorms are expected to redevelop overnight. More widespread shower and thunderstorm activity on Saturday and rain and thunderstorms again on Sunday. Here's what's out there right now. Had some showers earlier in McCullough County. Those have moved on out. Just a mix of clouds. A little sunshine trying to peek through from time to time. Not all that far south. Down around Del Rio, we've got uh, big thunderstorms. These have been producing some quarter-sized tail. Then over here in Houston, southeast Texas, just a lot of thunderstorm activity and heavy rain in that portion of the state. KLST Live Radar, though, not tracking any rain right now. Just south of Junction, south of I-10, we've got a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 8 o'clock tonight. That's where those storms are building between Del Rio and Uvalde. Uh, that watch expected to probably be reissued at some point uh, later this evening. Most of that should stay to our south. Here are the temperatures around the region right now, largely the mid to upper 50s. Got a couple of 60s, 61 in Junction. Robert Lee coming in at 60, Mason 64. Here's where it rained over the past 24 hours. As you can see, most of it from Ozona to Sonora, El Dorado, and back over towards the Brady area. Let's zoom in here and give you a few of the accumulation estimated rainfall totals here. Northern uh, Sutton County, 1.6 inches. Of course, uh, Sonora had that tornado warning this morning. Haven't seen any reports of damage. Accumulation over here by Ozona, just over an inch, two and a half inches here south of El Dorado on Highway 277. Another two inch amount up here in northeastern Schleicher County and some two inch amounts over here towards Menard and Brady and Eden as well. And Ballinger got some good rain, inch and a half estimated in Runnels County in the thunderstorms last night and again early this morning. All right, for tonight, here is your severe weather outlook. And again, Mason, Menard, Junction, Sonora, marginal risk for some wind and hail threats there. And then on Saturday, same general area, gusty wind and hail could come down from thunderstorms. This is where the majority of the heavier storms are forecast to be at this time. Future cast, let's look ahead now and go through the overnight hours and stop this at about uh, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Our next round of rain is expected to develop to the southwest down around Ozona. As we move on through the morning, some of those showers and storms are expected to make their way through San Angelo by 8 o'clock or so. And then during the day tomorrow, the showers just sort of come and go. It'll rain and stop and rebuild. And then tomorrow evening, back down here in the Hill Country area, we may see another round of thunderstorms. You folks watching us from Junction and Mason especially, I'd keep an eye on the weather late tomorrow afternoon. Then we get into Sunday, and we're still talking rain, showers moving through from time to time. Good widespread coverage both days of our weekend. So your forecast for tonight. Really not much going on until about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms overnight. And the low temperature should be about 50 degrees early tomorrow morning. For your day on Saturday, 60 for a high, but a good 80% chance of thunderstorms and rain off and on during the day with a northeast wind 10 to 15. Now when we get to Sunday, our rain chances are still good at 70% on St. Patrick's Day, high of 60. 20% rain chance Monday, high 64. Spring begins Tuesday, 58 to 40% chance of rain. Warming trend and we dry out toward the middle part of next week.